What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Selena. I'm an economist working in Washington, D.C. I'm also a content creator. I create a bunch of lifestyle, productivity, and fitness journey vlogs. So if you're into that sort of thing, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below and turn on your notifications so you don't miss a single video from me. I'm so excited to be sharing that this video is sponsored by Wix. So with that said, in this video, I'm going to be creating my first website. Specifically, I'm going to be creating an e-commerce website in order to create an online store and give you a step-by-step -step tutorial. And I'm so excited to share it with you all. And if you're interested in creating your own website, make sure to check Wix out using my link in the description below. I'm finally going to be creating a website. I've been wanting to do this for a while and this was just the perfect opportunity because I've been wanting to make a website in order to create a store so that hopefully, fingers crossed, in the future I might have some merch that I want to share with you all but I for sure want to have a space where I can share resources with you all templates for productivity and things like that maybe some wallpapers and some digital freebies and I just really wanted to have a space where I can do that and share everything all in one location for you all I think that having a website is a really great idea for content creators influencers honestly for anyone in any career just to have like your own portfolio it's also just a really great idea to have for small businesses for recent graduates who want to have like a really clean portfolio in order to show work that you've done and have easy access to your LinkedIn and all of these different social platforms all in one spot and I hope that you enjoy this video if you do enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and make sure to comment down below but without further ado let's get into the video I'm going to start screen recording and sharing with you all what it is I'm doing and step by step sharing with you all the process of building my website specifically an online store and e-commerce website so the first thing that I had to do was sign up for a Wix account using my email. To create a Wix account, I just clicked on create your store and then I just entered my email and password in order to sign up. And then it asked me a number of questions. It asked me what kind of website I'm creating. I put electronic store, which will help me create an e-commerce store. And then I said, I'm thinking about selling. I chose what I need to run an online store. I would be the only one managing my store, so I selected that, and then it gives me options of what things I would like added into my website so that it can help me choose what layouts might be right for me. And then afterwards, it asks me whether I want to use ADI or choose a template in order to use the Wix editor. <laughs> So there are a ton of different templates to choose from and they actually have a section that can help you figure out what template might be best for you. Okay, so I chose a template and now I'm gonna start changing up and personalizing it. Now upload an image from my computer. I just selected the photo and clicked on change image and then I uploaded media and uploaded photos for my computer. Then I selected the photo and uploaded it, just moved around the text to make it look how I wanted to. And at the bottom, I added my name to customize the website. So I'm just adding my email at the top here. I just want it to be available and in case any brands want to reach out, they can send me an email. It's very easy to access and easy to see on my website. From the Wix editor, go to site on the top left corner and exit editor. An important thing to note, if you want to create a website with the ability to have an online shop, make sure that you choose a plan from the business or e-commerce plans available. And it's important to choose this if you want to be able to have an online store with online payments, plans and recurring payments, customer support, and all of these things related to a small business that would also allow the shopping feature to add text go to the plus sign on the top left corner to customize I started working on the about me section on the home page to make sure that I had a good welcome section for any time anyone visits my website what's really cool is there's a ton of different fonts to choose from you can also choose to upload your own font to add image or text just go to the plus sign on the top left corner I clicked on image then went to image collections and decided to connect to my Instagram so that I could pull photos from there I clicked on my Instagram and then connect Instagram and then I just allowed access to my Instagram photos once there you can select from all of your Instagram photos and I decided to upload some of my favorite images from my Instagram because you can connect your social media programs which is really nice 
Once selected, you're going to click on upload selection and those photos will be uploaded to the Wix site so that you can choose photos from there to use on your website. So I chose a photo and then I decided I also wanted to link my social media, in this case my Instagram, to the photo. By clicking on the photo and selecting settings, then you can choose what you want to link to that photo, whether it be the web address, page, or anything else that's listed. And it works! Yay! On the top left corner is a plus sign where you can add text, images, buttons, whatever you need to your website. You can either choose one and drag or you can double click and then move the heading. Here I just chose a simple and minimalistic look for my socials heading to make it easy to read and find on my homepage. I went in and added another heading to label what social media was related to that photo. And then in order to add all of the other social medias, all I did was go in and duplicate the same photo, which just required me to right click on the image. And in order to change the image itself, all you have to do is right click on the image and click on change image and then you can select from the images that you have already uploaded either from your social medias or from your computer and you just continue linking the websites as you did before until you have the number of photos that you want on your website page. I just clicked on the photos to rearrange them on the screen so that it would have the same size and ratio and then I just kind of cleaned it up and added the rest of my social medias here. On the bottom left corner, I decided to add hyperlinks to all of my social medias and pin it to my website so it can be accessible from any web page. To do this, I just double clicked on the text in order to select it, then I clicked edit text, and then I just clicked on the little hyperlink icon and added the web address there in order to link it to my social medias. To add a new page to your site, all you have to do is go to the top left corner where it says home or whatever site page you're on and then add a new page. On here, you can choose from any of these templates in order to design the new layout of that page or you can create your own general layout. To change the names of the site pages, you can just double click on the menu itself and then change the names from there. To further customize my content, page, I double clicked on my social media icons and decided to change them all to a cohesive black color to match the minimalistic and simple look of my website. And then from there, you can also link your actual social medias to these social media icons that are found on the Wix editor. To do this, you just double click on an icon and then you search for it in the Wix icon search bar. You select the icon that you want. Once you've selected that and you add it to gallery, you can click on the icon and you can link it on the right corner. As soon as you've done all of the icons that you want, you click done and you're done linking your icons. In order to add products to your website, go to the page called shop, which you can always rename and I eventually renamed to digital freebies. You click on add a product and then it gives you the option to add a digital product or a physical product. And since I'm creating a digital freebies shop, I did a digital product. To upload image, I just clicked on upload file, add an image, and I selected an image that I had downloaded from my computer. You can create a collection and add it to a collection. You can choose the name and title and product info. You can also choose to add how much it will cost. Since this is a digital freebie, I put $0 because it's not going to cost you anything. So you select the image or the picture that you want people to be able to purchase. And then once it's on your site, you can also customize how the display actually shows up on the web page itself. What I really like most about the Wix editor is how intuitive it is to just customize how the products show up on the page by double clicking, by right clicking on things, changing the settings and playing around with everything. From the Wix editor, go to set on the top left corner and exit editor. To set up shipping, just go from your dashboard and click on settings and then go down to e-commerce and finance and click on shipping. Once in shipping, you'll notice that domestic and international regions have automatically been added to shipping by Wix. You can then go into the edit shipping rule and edit exactly how much you want to charge for shipping by state and by country and you can add additional regions as needed. In the tax section, you can add additional countries to collect collect sales tax from. You can choose to either automatically collect sales tax or to manually enter the percentage of sales tax that you would like to collect from each country and or additional state. Go to accept payments. Here you can choose how you would like to accept payments. You can connect to credit cards and debit cards. You can accept manual payments, which means that you can ask people on your site to pay you through Venmo or Zelle or some other form potentially paying by cash. You can also connect to your PayPal or any other apps that are compatible with 
with the Wix website. Go to business info under settings. You can change your site name, choose what category it falls into and all of that. Under website settings, you can choose your site name that will show up on Google, which is great for search engine optimization. You can also choose a domain, connect an existing domain or buy a domain if you don't have one already. Click on the mobile icon in order to go into the mobile website editor and make sure that everything looks how you want it to look in the mobile version. All you have to do is click on things to move them around and make them look more cohesive on the mobile version. Once you've done that, you can go into preview mode and make sure to check all of the site pages to ensure that everything looks the way that you would like it to look before publishing. And then once you've done that, also make sure that you preview the rest of the site on the regular desktop version. Once you've done all of that, you're ready to publish. Once you've published your site using the button on the top right corner of the editor, you can now see your website live and share it with others. Search engine optimization is made easy by Wix. They created an SEO checklist that you can essentially use to just follow the process step by step to make your website more reachable and searchable on Google. First, you have to connect your site to Google, which I already did here. And you literally go in and you write keywords under every single site page like I'm doing here by clicking on the site page. And then you go to SEO basics. You type in the keywords that describe that page. You ensure that the same text is also on the website itself in order to increase the search engine optimization and once you complete all of that you essentially duplicate that process for every single site page on your website in order to increase your seo and the likelihood that somebody who doesn't know you or even someone who searches your name or something related to your content will be able to find you easily on google hey y'all so i hope that you enjoyed today's video i hope that you found it helpful i'm so excited to have my website finally created and published for you all to check out so make sure to check out my new website down in the description at selenatrevino.com. Ah, that sounds wild. And I hope that this encouraged you and motivated you to go ahead and create your own website because the Wix editor is truly very accessible and user-friendly. So I really want to encourage you all to give it a try. If you do want to give it a try, make sure to use my link in the description box down below. But with that said, if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to comment down below if you want to start your own website. If this was something that interests you and also if you have any other questions about how to use the Wix website editor. If you do check out my website you could also comment what you think about my new website. Ah, I'm so excited or any merch that you think I should drop in the future. So make sure to comment down below. I respond to all of your comments and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe down below and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a single video from me. And with that said I'll see you all in the next video. When I first met you then, thought you were nothing You were just sitting on the